Hello everyone, today I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the controller upgrade that I did last week. I showed you all how to do step-by-step -step controller upgrade for the Jetson Bolt Pro to get your, you know, about 17, 18 miles per hour speed compared to the 14, 15 miles per hour speed that you're getting with the 36 volt battery. And after I posted the video, many of you purchased the controller. A lot of you already have the controller upgraded and you're happy with the results. Um, and you also have been doing some testing for me. A special thanks to Jay uh, who tested the speed and calibrated the, both the controller and the GPS speed and let me know what settings that you used. Uh, it was very close to the settings that I was using and I just wanted to show you today because he calibrated it very, very well. So shout out to Jay. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, let's get it started with today's video. Couple of things before I get started. After the upgrade, everybody has been reporting that the motor is louder, uh, which is true. When I get on it, the motor is a bit louder compared to how it used to be. Um, and depending on your weight, it might be a lot louder because the motor is trying to work really hard with the 36 volt battery. So with the 48 volt battery upgrade, I think it is gonna become quieter and you might get more power, but I can't say for sure. So. If you are planning on doing a 48 volt battery upgrade or if you already did it, please let me know your solution. Uh, let me know your results. Uh, I really appreciate it if you could just comment in the video letting me know how the 48 volt battery is behaving or the 36 volt battery after the upgrade. Another thing is in the Amazon listing, looks like the seller changed some of the language on the listing where it shows 24 to 36 or 36 to 48 volt uh, controller. So just Pick, pick wisely on whichever fits your need because if you want to do the 48 volt upgrade, uh, you're gonna want that 48 volt controller. I doubt it is any different on the listing because even if it says 24 to you know, 36 volt, um, I have a feeling it still does the 48 volt, it's the exact same controller, but just contact the seller, make your decisions, Finally, there has been reports that the wires that you have in your bike might be different than mine. The newer bikes apparently come with a different color wire. Uh, I don't know why Jetson decided to change that, but I did pin a comment from one of my subscribers uh, for that earlier controller video showing you know, how he figured the color out. So if your colors are different than mine, just refer to that comment. He has that. I will also put it in the description on how he figured those wires out. Turn the power on, you just press this and hold. Now, if your bike is barely moving when you are doing this, that means your setting is probably at one. And I'll show you how to change that setting. But right here, uh, if you have an error, it'll show right here. That means some of the settings might not be correct or your, your cables are not soldered properly. And then right here, it is showing the current distance. If you press the power again, it shows the total odometer on this controller. Uh, this might or might not be accurate, uh, depending on if you took out the wires and, and messed around with it. Uh, if you press again, it shows the battery voltage. So the current battery voltage is showing 38.9 volts, and then it goes back to the miles. So that's what this does. But while I was moving it, as you saw, it also goes to average speed. If I press again, it shows the max speed, and then the current speed. So you can, you can change very easily by going over here. To enable the cruise control, you can just use the throttle and when you reach the appropriate speed, you can press and hold this negative button for a little bit and then the cruise control will be enabled. To turn on the headlight, just press and hold this positive button for a couple of seconds and then the headlight will turn on. Now let's go through these P settings. So press uh, and hold the plus and minus and then P1, that is your first setting. This P1 is just the display brightness setting. So whatever you want to put the display brightness right here, if I put it to one, uh, as you saw that it was a little bit less. P2 is your unit, so it goes between miles and kilometer. So P2 is the unit. P3 is your voltage, your battery voltage. So mine is a 36 volt battery. Uh, P4 is the dormancy time. So 10 second is uh, of inactivity, will turn off the power for me. P5 is your gear setting. So this is where you can change between different pedal assist and throttle assist speed modes. So if I do zero, that means you're gonna have only three pedal assist modes. So let's do that actually while we're here. So just let it run down. So right there, when I press, I only have three. 
So that is the max paralysis or paralysis. But if I change this, if I go back, you see that it is P O 5 is 0, but if I make it 1, then you saw this goes to 0. Now, if I go back, um, if once it times out, I will have five different paralysis or paralysis mode. So, two, three, four, five. And then if you change that even further, then you will have nine. So, that's how you change between those two. Now, let's go to P5. So, that was P5. Let's go to P6. This is your wheel diameter. So, 14 inch in our case. So, P7 is your magnetic steel number. So, how many magnets there are and 24 seems to be working well. P8 is your speed limit. So, 100, always set to 100. P9 is your zero start. That means if you set this to zero, the throttle will work even if the wheels are not moving. But if, it is, if you set to anything else, then the throttle won't even start if you are already not in motion, so if you're not pedaling. So, always make that to zero. Or if you want to change it to one, that means you have to pedal first before the throttle will kick in. So, your P10 right here is your drive mode. So, you can go between your pedal assist or your throttle assist or just the hybrid of pedal and throttle assist at two. And then if we go to P11, this is your power sensitivity setting. Uh, it was at 12, so I just left it at 12. P12 is the power start strength. So, I left it at three. You can change that. You can make it five. So, it is supposed to give you an initial big boost. Um, I'm not sure if that really works. 13 is your uh, number of magnets on the pass sensor. Uh, this should be six. And then P14 is the controller limit for your current. So that is 13 as per the controller. The controller under voltage setting. So this is 32 volt. That is when the battery should turn off completely. P16 is the audio setting. I have no idea what this means. P17 is the cruise control. So if you want the automatic cruise control, just press one. If not, go to zero. This is when it will auto activate that cruise control. Whatever speed you are in, it will auto activate without you having to press on anything. So if you don't want that, just leave that P17 setting to zero. And P18, this is how the speed is displayed. So this is the 75% of the total speed that the bike is showing. That seems to be the calibrated. Uh, that seems to be working. So mine is at 75. P19 and P20, I have no idea what those mean, so leave it to default. And there we are at, all of those settings that I have. That is it for today's video. I just wanted to show you all how my settings are in this new controller upgrade. I'm going to share some of those experiences that I have been hearing. A lot of people have upgraded and they have been telling me that they are getting the boost and they're happy with it. Just drop a comment below if you are happy with your controller upgrade or if you're planning on doing the upgrade. I will have a lot more videos on this bike in the coming days, uh, including an ignition key. So I've purchased this. Uh, I haven't installed it yet, but I plan on installing it very soon where you should be able to have a key and then have to unlock it before you can ride off with your Jetson. So all of those videos are coming very soon. Uh, stay tuned for all of those videos. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting from all of you in this channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Namaste.